Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited and in this video we will be learning that how to uh, add uh, one awesome visual that is a scroll bar in Microsoft Power BI dashboards. So uh, you often seen uh, on some of the website uh, a scroll bar moving from left to right or right to left just like I have opened uh, Pakistan Stock Exchange website here and on this main page index page you will find a, a marquee a scroll bar here at the bottom which uh, shows you organizations uh, comp various organizations share price and their high and low difference and with, with uh, the arrows um, for green for the high and red for the low and you have a, uh, also a drop down list as well so you can uh, change the market as well of stock exchange so uh, in this video particularly I will be telling you that how to uh, create this uh, animated scroll bar that will be moving in your Power BI dashboards. So now we have uh, the visual available in the app source or Microsoft marketplace. For that you need uh, to be signed in with your uh, Microsoft Power BI account uh, from your organization account uh, that will be the official and uh, from and and live you can extract the data for example in this video i will be uh, getting the data uh, from the website within the power bi of this market summary table where we have different uh, companies listed and their prices high and low and change is also uh, mentioned here so we will get this data directly into the microsoft power bi instead uh, as as old practice users used to copy and paste this data into Excel and then creating some visuals or saving that data into the Excel file and then importing into Power BI but th that's not the case now uh, most of the things have now been automated if you know the entire process that how to get the data reshape the data and then convert that into a good visual so in Microsoft Power BI you have the option to get the data from web and uh, in which you have different levels so we will be having that data of market summary into our power bi uh, canvas here so for doing that what we need to do is we need to go to get data and we need to click on from web but before that let me tell you uh, what we're gonna do uh, first we need to uh, explore this scroll uh, scroll visual so either you can go to uh, appsource.microsoft.com from where on, on the search bar you can just write scroll and press enter so you will find a scroll power bi visuals click on that and from here you can uh, read about this visual that uh, what this visual uh, can give you so you need an account either your work or school account uh, this is the publisher is Frederick and this is free and now we have more than uh, 260 plus power bi visuals available free of cost so you can uh, click on get it now and for that you need to sign in with your uh, official account of uh, microsoft power bi or uh, you can directly add this scroller visual into your power bi desktop application by going to more visuals and click from app source but remember then uh, but remember that on top right uh, you need to sign in with your uh, uh, whatever your email address for the power bi account is so, so that's how this app source will work for you otherwise it will not it would be live once you will be fetching that data from this stock exchange website and later on if the data changes here so you don't need to worry about your data will definitely uh, go gonna change in Microsoft Power BI dashboard as well so it will be a live connectivity you just need to click on refresh button so what I, I gonna do is uh, for adding that visual I will click on more visuals on the home tab of Power BI desktop screen I will click on app source and now from here from the Power BI visuals screen uh, you have the search bar so just write scroll and click on this magnifier so uh, it will search a scroller for you now we got find that uh, so it says your data gets visualized as an, an animating scrolling text 
uh, generally in on the websites as you are seeing this scroll is is basically made uh, with the help of some HTML tags and we know that this is the domain of website design and development so this HTML5 has been used and Marquee and different tags has been used but here the, the scenario is entirely just need to uh, add this scroll scroller and when you click on add button so the scroller will be added so it says import custom visual the visual was successfully imported into this report so now we have that visual available now we need a data and we will not copy and paste that data and saving it into the notepad file or the excel file we will be getting directly live data from the website of Pakistan Stock Exchange website so for doing that click on get data click on web and for that you need uh, definitely the URL of that website so you just need to copy the URL and again pasting here on this Power BI window which is from web so you just need to paste that uh, URL here and click OK button so now it will take few more seconds to uh, read that uh, compatibility that how many tables and, and uh, data is available on this URL and it will show you in this navigator window on the left side you will be finding some uh, multiple tables and you need to select uh, the tables you want to import from that Pakistan Stock Exchange website on the right side you will be seeing the preview of of that particular data set so let's just wait few more seconds and uh, then we have the tables here so now we uh, we got uh, there are two folders uh, the one is suggested tables uh, and one is HTML table so uh, I will be preferring the table one here so I can show you the demonstration for the scroller and uh, here we have the name of the entities and their pricing their high and low and change volume okay we have also some other tables as well but we don't need to import them at, at this point of time so I will just check mark on table one and uh, if you need to uh, transform this data uh, just like you want to change the format or you want to unpivot the data sometimes it happens also so you can anytime go to the power query by clicking on transform data uh, now we know that our data is absolutely fine and perfect to um, import from that website Pakistan Stock Exchange and I will just click on load button here so as soon as I click the data will be uh, fetched into this Power BI desktop and as I told you that this is live if, if later on after a few seconds or after a few hours or after a few days the data got updated on the website itself on the Pakistan Stock Exchange website you don't need to worry about you just need to click on refresh button and your dashboard will automatically be updated so it's live connected and no separate Excel file or any other file uh, is being stored on your local hard drive right so that's the beauty of uh, Power BI. So it will take few more seconds. Uh, the table one is being loaded and creating a connection in the model. And uh, it says that seven rows loaded. So now we have table one on the right side of this fields area. And what we're gonna do is we need to add the scroller visual on our canvas. So what I, I can do is I will just click on this visual a blank object has been uh, placed on my dashboard and now uh, when you uh, enable or the active object you will find here in the in the fields area you will find three uh, diff different fields the first one is the category where we need to drag and drop the names of the organizations uh, the major absolute and the major deviation so let me tell you that what are those so first I will just uh, drag and drop the name of the organizations into the category uh, major deviation is is will be the change and then uh, in the major absolute we will be having the high price of that particular company so it's very simple so the major deviation we ha we have placed the change here and in the major absolute we have uh, place the high price so uh, as, as you can see this crawler crawler is working now and for the first company TRG uh, the, the share price which is the high price is 38.88 and this is a positive change and the change is of 0 0.56 whereas you can see FCCL 
uh, 20.2 where is the negative change of minus 0.41 so if we verify TRG from the website live from the stock exchange website so let's say we we imported this market summary data into our power bi and if we see the trg so the high price of trg is is 38.88 uh, and definitely we saw a change of 0 0.56 which is positive so here on this stock exchange website we see a green color of of a change volume whereas we can see uh, arrow in the in the scroller bar uh, you can also uh, uh, change this major absolute uh, other than high price you can uh, set the original price uh, here just drag and drop and now you can see the original price for the TRG is 38.15 and 0 0.56 let's explore some of the formatting uh, techniques here which is which is available with this scroller so I will click on this format button and uh, I will just expand this scroller and here we have different options available so if you want to increase the font size for example if I want to increase the font size I will uh, add that number here uh, if you want to make scroller speed a little bit faster you can increase the number or you can decrease the number vice versa uh, if you don't like black background you can change this background to any color uh, with, with as we prefer white color and text color would be in the black color so that it be visible right so if you don't want title to it you can decrease, uh, switch off the title as well so there are a lot of formatting options available you want to create a border to it you can you want to give a shadow uh, to this visual so this is also available which look nice so once you are done with the stock exchange dashboard uh, in power bi so this scroller uh, is is something very interesting to for, for the users to see uh, share price uh, coming up live from the the website data and then you are connected it within the Microsoft Power BI dashboard so I hope you like this technique and do share this video with others uh, thank you